All right, so we are just after getting a Silent Hill transmission from Konami as of, what day is it today? October 19th, which, you know, hello from the past, I guess. And it seems like Silent Hill is coming back in a big way. Konami are really pulling out all the stops with this one. They threw out a Silent Hill 2 remake being made by Blooper Games. They threw out Silent Hill Ascension, which is being made by Bad Robot, which it's kind of weird that J.J. Abrams is involved in Silent Hill, like, just strange. Uh, Silent Hill F, if that is how that title is said, being made by Neobards. Uh, we got Silent Hill Townfall, made by Annapurna, and we got a Silent Hill movie coming as well. Well, another Silent Hill movie. Technically the third, but this is like a sequel to the first. It's interesting. It's quite interesting to see Konami actually investing time and effort into their IPs. It's it's highly unusual. And the fact that they announced four games on the way, now mind you one of them's a remake, but even still to put in that amount of effort into one of their properties, it's something that we haven't seen from Konami in a long time. But as the transmission went on, I couldn't help but notice that with each trailer, we were getting a different studio developing each game. We have Bloober Games, who previously did Layers of Fear, Bad Robot Games, who I'm not familiar with their work at all, uh, Neobards, who've done a little bit of Resident Evil stuff, and Annapurna, who've done a mixture of things. Probably one of their latest ones includes Stray, but I think that may be publishing, but still, they've, they've got their name on a lot of good stuff. I think it's very interesting that Konami are not developing any of these new games. We also have uh, the Sui Koden 1 and 2 HD remakes, which Konami are working on. I think that these new games being developed by people other than Konami is actually a really positive sign, because A, we get the most amount of Silent Hill content that we've seen in years. And B, Konami have shown that over the years they've really not been very interested in developing stuff. They've released a few things, they've released like Castlevania collections, but nothing major has come from them in the last couple of years. Now it could be the case that each of these studios approached Konami individually and everything just kind of lined up for them to make a big announcement on it all, but I'm kind of hoping that it's the case that Konami initiated this, because if Konami are willing to initiate this amount of collaboration and effort in arranging a number of Silent Hill games as well as a Silent Hill movie, think about what they could do for all of their other IPs. They could easily license out the Metal Gear license, for example, and we could get Hideo Kojima making a new Metal Gear game. Or even we could get a Metal Gear remake done by Bluepoint Games. I don't know why there was just something floating there. That was really odd. I don't know what is up with my camera tonight. There have been a lot of rumors about a Metal Gear remake, and I believe that there was a Twitter leaker who said that they made up those leaks. Since those rumors have been going around for so long, I'm inclined to believe there is something in regards Metal Gear that might come at some point that they're just not ready to announce yet. But as well as that, we've also got stuff like Castlevania, which... Konami has kind of profited off of through the Castlevania Netflix series, so that's another franchise that they could definitely work on to bring back. And the fact that they're working on bringing back Sui Koden as well, which is very interesting. Like, that's not a well-known choice. I believe it's, it's a very under-the-radar choice. But if Konami are willing to put in this much effort into Silent Hill, which is a franchise that hasn't really been super successful for them in since the PS2 generation, I guess, then what else are they working on behind the scenes? I think it would honestly be a genius business model for them to just license out their IPs. There may be some simpler projects like some HD remakes of older games and stuff that they could work on themselves, but if there are other studios that are willing to take on these additional licenses, that could lead to some really, really cool games that is driven by developers and creators who love these IPs. There's a lot of potential in all that. And that's that's the thing that's gotten me the most excited about this announcement. I think that there's a lot of potential in their IPs and for them to just license them out, they can print money by just giving these IPs that people care about to developers that want to work on them. It's just, it's it's such easy money. They don't have to put in the development cost themselves. They can just fund the development from another studio and guess what? If that other studio screws up, the blame isn't on Konami then. 
Like, it's a win-win situation. Why would they not just take that effort to make those games? In fact, we could even potentially get Silent Hills again with this model. They could just license the Silent Hill IP to Kojima. And that would be incredible. They have gotten such flack over it for literally years. And if they came back with that announcement, like, you know, down the line after maybe, hopefully if these games are successful, if they were to just come out with an announcement of Silent Hills, that would be an incredible turnaround for them. But yeah, this uh, this transmission has me really excited about the idea of potentially these licenses coming back. I feel like I'm a man grasping at straws here at the idea of these other franchises coming back also. I'm really excited to see some Silent Hill stuff because I feel like I missed it when it was at its peak. I never got into the games back then and to see them coming back and fingers crossed they're good and that if Konami were to do this with some of their other franchises we could be getting a lot of great games down the line and I am really hopeful for that and that that Konami turn this around be the greatest heel to clean turn in since anything in WWE but yeah just <laughs> Konami I know you're not watching but what you just did for Silent Hill and what you're working on with Silent Hill just do it for some of your other properties do it for Metal Gear. Do it for Castlevania. Do it for Zone of the Enders, because I'm the only person that loves that franchise. It would turn around their freaking negative PR so much. It'd be such a win for them. And then they could make more pachinko machines out of the new Silent Hill games, and you can pull the lever all you want. Get the lever. I just, I just, I just hope it's good, man. I hope all this stuff that we're getting from Silent Hill is good. I really do, and I hope that Konami learned some lessons from this then and take this and other franchises forward in a positive, well-made way.